Well, uh, this is Do You Know Jack Radio Show, of course, and uh, on the line with me today is none other than uh, Herman Frank. How are you doing, man? I'm fine, man. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I'm, well, I'm doing pretty good right now. Yeah, well, no kidding. I mean, uh, your fourth studio effort, uh, Fight the Fear, uh, getting ready to come out on AFM Records in a, in a couple of days. I mean... Uh, does the uh, solo record thing get any easier? I mean, I suppose that's an obvious question. It probably does, right? <laughs> well, as you said, I really, I'm really excited about the new new production, and it will be released eight, eight of February. And um, as I said, I'm excited. It it went went out pretty well. A lot of people tell me, "Oh, that's your best album you've ever done." So it's the best album. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody says I agree. <laughs> There you go. Well, I mean that that's no a, complaints about that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, now just just thinking about the the you know the the writing process of the solo records. I mean, you know, how much has has your own personal process e- evolved o- over the course of these four records? Um, I mean, I'm, as I said, if, uh, as everybody says, the solo project. Actually, I mean, there are a lot of the, the thing is the third time. Uh, uh, I, uh, it's the third record I'm doing with me. Uh, it's the second record for the bass and, 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 and drummer. Yeah. So uh, it's, maybe it's, it's getting a band. <laughs> I don't know yet. I mean, everybody's invited, and I'm really glad, glad for thankful that people work with me. Um, Musical-wise, I'm the, let's say, overall product, uh, 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 um, a conductor, yeah. and um, I, I write them. The, I mean, ninety percent out of the music, yeah. And I give a lot of melodies and stuff like that. But I mean, <laughs> especially Rick, as a singer, he's much better better singing than me. And I, I'm still doing, giving him on my demos a couple of uh, the most uh, vocal lines I, I have in my mind. But it's obvious that he puts he 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 gets it, um, sometimes a little better one because he's, he's he's more able to sing than I am doing. Yeah. You won't hear my singing. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to hear. It. Uh, some some people some people say, "Oh, that sounds real metal and rough." Yeah, <laughs> it's been a little bit too rough. So so then, when it comes to uh, you know just even constructing a solo, I mean, you know, where where do you start in in terms of uh, in terms of that kind of uh, stuff, Herman? It's always the, 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 the tricky part to, to, to start and end the solo, um, the lead, uh, lead guitar. As actually, I mean, I'm playing now a little bit longer than four years, and so I have a little, little bit more experience yeah. than in the older days. But um, I'm still looking forward to, do, to play some leads, you know, and sometimes it's, it's easy and sometimes it's getting a little bit harder to, to, to find a way. And then you fiddle around and, and, and start on different different scales or something like that. And then you just have to judge, oh, this is worth it to work on it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And if you have found any start point in every kind of thing, like a catchy phrase or lick, then it's, it's you're getting into it. Yeah. And the new record, there are a lot of things I've just used, the demo guitars. The leads I'm done to, uh, right, right fresh when I'm doing uh, composing the songs the first time. Then you're more mostly also the most of the times you have the best idea. Yeah. First takes are always the best ones. Maybe you have to replay them, uh, but for the ideas, the, the first takes are mostly one of the best. But then you must, maybe you don't have to catch the the bandings or something in, in the right tunes or so. So you you read. Yeah, for sure. And I know you mentioned, you know, Rick as a as a vocalist, but you've also, you know, you you've got a a few other pretty solid uh, musicians here. I'm I'm just curious as to uh, you know what each member contributes. Like, let, let's start with uh, your other guitarist and your your solo project, Heiko Schroeder. I mean, you know, where does he Schroeder. fit into? Yeah, what Sch- Schrader Schroeder. <laughs> Actually, we call him Doctor Schroeder. <laughs> Where does the good doctor fit into the whole process? Then uh, I mean, he showed up when when I was in tour two seventeen. Um, I had been out there for a couple of weeks in uh, touring with, uh, through Europe, and so I said to myself, "This is this this music is made for two guitars, for sure, because it's uh, I mean steady metal needs two guitars." So 
I was looking for a guitar player and really the bass player is actually Heiko Schroeder is a friend of, of, of the bass player so he introduced uh, Heiko and, uh, and I just, he showed up in Hanover and, uh, and we jammed a little bit and so there was a fast decision you play the second guitar fine so he uh, he helped out for the live thing and then uh, as they become a he's a nice guy you know very good guitar player so it was obvious that he's playing on the on this or, or he's now in the band let's call it a band now and so he's working with us on the next album yeah for sure uh and then you got uh former rage drummer uh andre hilger andre Hilgers, he's fucking out oh, oh, he's outrageous <laughs> I mean, he's such a talented drummer, and he exactly knows what I'm looking for, you know, in, in the drum. He's so prepared for the studio, and I mean, we do pr- practice the songs uh, maybe a week together in, in his in his room, you know, and then he shows up in the studio, and he's so prepared. It took him two days for for forty songs to be recorded, yeah. and then just has has to judging for, for uh, on a couple of, of uh, rows or endings or something like that. So yeah. it's pretty much easy to work with this guy. He gives the extra kick. Yeah, well, I, I was going to say now, like, just listening through Fight the Fear here, I mean, he really uh, locks into uh, the grooves that you're laying down. Yeah. Very, very precise. And I, I mean, mean, I know this guy for a long time. And actually, he was one of the biggest fans of Vickery in the older time. Because he's a little child and a little bit younger than me. So he was really proud to play, to play the drums for me, you know, in this album. And it's the second album he's doing with me. And so it, uh, he knows the direction and the feeling I'm looking for. Yeah. Or the, the, the speed or the, the, the not only the, the certain, or always be certain on the click or something. That's bullshit. I mean, so he, he knows the speed I'm, I'm looking for. Well, that, that was another question that I was going to ask, because you mentioned just playing to uh, to the click track. I mean, is that your usual uh, uh, nah. procedure when you're in there? I mean, most of the drummers, they, they, they want to have a click track. In, in, in the ears. But in this production, I, I did the guitars first, all the guitars, and I play to a, to a computer drumming or something. I do a, I com- I record by myself. Yeah. And uh, I give... Andre, I mean, more or less with the final song, also including uh, Rick vocals and and and, and, and uh, dive bass, but this dive bass is not that bad because I played it. Yeah. <laughs> so when the drummer shows up in the studio, he has the full song, so he knows. Okay, I, if I do this roll or I have to do this cymbal, not to to crash with the vocals and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. So it's kind of like easy situation for him, and he's. Just listening a little bit to the click, 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 but more or less to the, to if, if the guitars are not laid, in the layback and they're never laid back in metal, so uh, giant, uh, a hint up front, so he can follow the guitars. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I, I noticed now in the press release here, one of the interesting uh, quotes is that uh, you recorded the drums in, uh, in a in a proper studio, quote unquote, yeah. uh, you know what what exactly uh, does does that entail? I mean, I do have my little own studio, but this horror studio is is it's very it's kind of a little bit famous. But there have been so many bands, German metal bands, in this. It, it's it's based in Hanover, uh-huh. so it's quite quite easy for me to reach. You know, it's in my hometown, and the technician, the the, the Arne Neuron, he's he was kind of a couple using. Album. Anyway, he's very good engineer and has got very good ears for drumming because he's a drummer by himself. So that helps. Yeah. You just you just enter the studio and up in one or two hours everything is ready for recording. And this guy, he got really good ears. So you don't have to judge by always by yourself. Or was it was this a good take? Or why do we cut paste uh, cut and paste in or so punch in or punch out or something? So that helps a lot. That's yeah. the reason why I choose it and because of the sound. Yeah, for sure. Well, and that was the other thing, and I think you mentioned that just, just as you were talking there, is uh, you went with a, a sound engineer and, and a sound yeah. engineer that was experienced in recording drums. I mean, was that the primary reason why you decided to go with a sound engineer this time around? I mean, this this guy also, um, we recorded and then when we did the, the bass, uh, the, the, the drums in there, we I uh, decided to go for the bass uh, recording uh, in, in the studio too, because yeah. 
this guy really helps and in this time it was quite easy for me and, and it, it was more relaxing for me or just get me more relaxed situation that yeah. I don't have that I was able to sit down back in the, uh, on the couch and just say oh fine better make louder <laughs> and it's a, that's the reason why I also did the mix in that and, and Arne Neuron was mixing this, this album I mixed it up with the other album by myself yeah. this time I, I went to, to the sound engineer said hey, you do the mix yeah. And so you sit back as the producer and say, louder guitars, louder guitars, louder guitars. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, I'm not sure if I... I went quite easy on this thing. I mean... <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if I caught the name of the studio in, in Hanover, Herman. You might have it, mentioned it. I can spell it. It's H-O-R-U-S. Uh-huh. Studio. Uh -huh. From the Egypt, Egyptian whatever god he was. Right, right. Yeah. And... and or, and and the sound H, H, it was Arne H R N E yeah N E U R A N D Neuran aha now uh, you know the other thing i was wondering herman is you know how does how do you separate herman the guitarist from herman the producer because i know you know when you're in the producer's chair a lot of the times uh it's about streamlining the arrangements maybe and you know yeah. cutting the proverbial fat so i mean how do you do that when you're also the primary musician on the album as well actually i would love to have a, a, a nice and lovely producer <laughs> as andy sleep for example from, 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 but he wasn't free yeah <laughs> or yeah free, so congratulations for him I was looking for this job too. <laughs> <laughs> and there are not that many producers around. I I would like to choose, you know. Yeah. So you have to find the right one, and then he has to has to um, three times do your project. And most of these producers are doing kind of like bigger, or, or more famous bands <laughs> that I am. Yeah. So I'm really stuck in the situation that I say to myself if I have. It doesn't wouldn't make sense if I have a bad producer. I'm, I'm not trusting, or he doesn't know what I'm looking for, or he's not into the kind of music I am. So I produce by myself. And sometimes I wish I would have a kind of like producer judge uh, who says Herman played again. Herman, this was good, or stuff, or, or helps also the melody or something. You know? Yeah. But produ producing for me means not uh, just, just turn the knob to the left or to the right. Or give more highs and highs or, or more bass. A producer, for my, in my experience, is to help out with arrangement, judge on the performance and, and, and stuff like that. I would love to have a guy like this. So yeah. if somebody wants to produce the next Herman Frank album, please on. <laughs> well, you know, it's, yeah. it's funny that you should mention Andy Sneap because your former, uh, except, uh, partner in yeah. arms, Wolf Hoffman, uh, had high praise for him, uh, in, in an, interview we did in October saying he's the number one metal producer so there you go yeah yeah of course he, I mean I work with Andy or I was lucky to, to, to see Andy, Andy working on, on, on records you know so yeah. he's a guitar player that's talented as you can see and he, and this guy he, he he's into the guitars and into the music so he's just into it yeah and he, he, he he's producing uh, songs with is not only with mind, um, I won't say the word, with his guts, you know, with everything, with his heart. Yeah, yeah. That's fear of the music, and that's what a kind of producer I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. No worries, man. Well, listen, it's uh, it's been amazing uh, to just uh, talking to you uh, about your album coming up, Fight the Fear. Uh out on February 8th, just in a couple of days on, on AFM Records. And uh, I've had a chance, obviously, to give it a, a, you know, a, a few listens. And uh, it's it's pretty incredible. So, uh, thanks, thank, so thanks, man, for, for just taking the time to uh, to chat with me today. Thank you so much for taking your time. I wish you the best day. And, yep. uh, uh, and the end of winter. Yeah, yeah, hopefully soon. <laughs> Don't freeze your whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. Take care, man. Bye yeah, bye. thanks. Bye.